Wait, that's the Joker? Today I can the Dr. Goes Moo here, back with another Nostalgia Card video. Today we're doing Batman 1989, which we are kind of going in the reverse order, which is the same order that Nostalgia Critic went in. I've never seen a Batman movie. Last week's video was Batman Returns, which has uh, Catwoman in it, or how she's introduced. If you want to check my reaction to that video, I'll leave it right up there. Also, the link down below in the description. Also, in place on my channel with all the other Nostalgia Critic reactions. Going to chronological order. Now, that video had a charity shout out for Make a Wish Foundation at the end into that video and that video made a whopping seven dollars and 61 cents in the first day so i donated seven dollars and 61 cents to the make a wish foundation for uh the national united states that video made like less than three dollars on day two so shout out to the patrons because i couldn't do things like that if it was not for them three dollars a month get you all my reaction videos a day early like this year there's already six dollars for the entire year uh and you got like over 800 videos well over 800 videos i did over 900 videos this entire year which is absolutely insane and like i said i do it shout out to the patrons i read every single comment whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not but i hope that you are subscribed also i should be live streaming today at five o'clock and this should be my very first video for 2024 so let me know what your resolutions are hopefully i can hit 100,000 subscribers this year that's my main goal for this year but let's go ahead and jump to batman 1989 all right this episode brought to you by honey honey easy way to save which kind of disappeared your or computer also brought to you by liquid, liquid IV. iv oh god Fuel life's adventures and experience better hydration today. i I, uh, I drink a lot of water like a lot of water but if there's a charity shout out to you in this video but if this video makes in the first day we'll go to that charity and now we're going to reverse order um also i saw green lantern out on the bottom should that be next week's video or should it be one of the titanic animated titanic movies i don't know hello on the nostalgia. Hi, Doug. Yeah, I remember it, so you don't have. To. I don't know well, anything. This might be one of my favorite Batman movies, but this I've one. I've never still seen my any of them. Oh, Michael Keaton, because he was Batman in Batman Returns. I was eight years old when I saw this on the big screen, and it was one of the coolest experiences of my life. I was 26 when I saw I his video for the first time. Heroes who, aside from this. Superman, were not given much respect on the big screen. And even then, they botched that up. If I'm right, I think this is the first PG-13 superhero movie. I know objectively there's better made Batman films, but not only does this one have the definitive live-action Batman Michael Keaton, who people is seemed he? to shit show about when he was chosen, and now we're crying with joy when he comes back. But this when, did wait, arguably he came back? change comic book movies. Before this film, the That's only live-action Batman we had was the Adam West show, which is okay. great, but it's all That's we a had. Show. There was actually debate There's whether Batman to show, go apparently. the same route with this, focusing on the campy humor rather than any drama. Thankfully, the comics were bringing back the darker roots. In fact, going hey, even darker even it, which the next the one, studio to choose a Batman dark returns. but still relatively new director named Tim Burton. He said he modeled hmm. a lot of this movie after The Killing Joke. And years later, you could argue it's a better Killing Joke movie than, well, The Killing Joke. Oh. Where Nolan focused more on vocal storytelling. Well, for the Burton new people, uh, the only Tim Burton movie I've seen is Charlie and Chocolate Factory. So much of the characters are brought out not by long conversations, but rather few choice words and phenomenal expressions. There's so much awesome to talk about with this movie and so little time. So let's jump right <laughs> Okay, in. I'm sorry. How high did this he just go? He went above the clouds? Batman film, Batman. Really? This is your favorite? Screw that shit, it's just Batman. No other film is called Batman. Doesn't count, it's called the movie. Okay, wait, First so that's off, the only one called really the... should talk just about Just Batman? Music. Okay. I know I've made a joke or two about Danny Elfman over the years, but the that's late a crazy 80s last and early name. 90s really were his peak. And this is arguably his best ever. With Zimmer's theme, I always think of Batman brooding and Hans walking. Zimmer, I've heard Elfman's that name. theme, I think of him brooding and punching. <laughs> Yeah, no, that sounds right. Why does it give me Indiana Jones vibes? It gets your adrenaline up while also being grand and gothic. And that is Batman to me. I also love that Kim Basinger's costumes get a credit. Because when I think of costumes in Batman, clearly hers is what sticks out to me. We're shown my all-time favorite, Gotham City. It's smoky, it's gothic, it's dirty, it's literally dripping with atmosphere. It's like Fritz Lang's Metropolis if it was going to mug you. Taxi. Metropolis. Taxi. That looks a lot like Bioshock. No doubt, trick thinking this was Bruce's parents about to be killed, but it's Is a separate it family trying to fight prostitutes, hitting on little kids. I'm sorry. What? That actually is a year than I remember. Thing that kind of happens. Come on. Stop about it. One dollar. Oh, so that's where Dewey went. <laughs> he does kind of look like him. Family is still mugged though, and this looks like a job for Batman. Who? The animated series. 
Yeah, like most Burton movies, the effects range from spectacular to laughably bad. Burton himself admitted okay. he kind of likes switching up the quality of his effects to give them a bit of a B-movie feel. Sometimes it Why? works. This is one of my favorite shots, but if you look close, you can see the keying makes it invisible. That's kind of a fun thing if you're paying attention. And the reflection. Like this, though, even the yeah, 80s no, that's real calling bad. up saying, what you doing? Uh, let's beat it, man. I don't like it up here. We get our first mention of Batman with the curse afraid of what happened to a criminal named Johnny Gobbs. How Johnny in the world is it? got ripped and took a walk off a roof. I heard this bat got it. The bat. Gravity oh, doesn't affect man. Give me a break, will you? See, that's what I love about this movie. It is dark, but it's not afraid to be a comic book. Nolan took a lot from the comics, arguably more than Burton, but in terms of style, he wanted it to be more realistic. This one takes itself seriously, but never I, too I couldn't seriously. tell you if those were Batman are scenes or not. classic comic book setups, or even <laughs> radio play setups. Which figures, too, as there were Like, I saw the mask, I thought well. Fifty Shades were great. Batman, played by Michael Keaton, shows up to kick some ass. Well, there you go. Batman got now shot. he gets back up and whoops them with a white flag, because they didn't which shoot is a holdover from a later fight scene where the camera's taking pictures. But Burton thought it made the fight look cooler, so he used it here, too. Maybe the Flash went by to warn him about Lois Lane, I don't know. <laughs> Say hi to Johnny Gobbs for me. What are you? You know exactly what he is. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. And I'm hard as hell. Oh. Not only is Keaton the best live-action Batman, but this is the only live-action Batman suit I can take seriously. Returns is pretty it much have the bat same, nipples. and alright, Affleck's was okay. But this one looks intimidating, arguably works Keaton's eyebrows into the mask. Looks like a <laughs> it does. that's seen some fights. And of course, has that weird ass bat turn. Keaton said the <laughs> outfit was so stiff he couldn't turn I'm his sure. head, resulting in a pretty funny line in Dark Knight. You want to be able to turn your head. I'm sure made backing out of the driveway easier. Here, they <laughs> just said it makes him move otherworldly. Again, it the embraces worldly? the comic book environment. So it's that he like has he's to turn like that. a symmetrical, imposing stance. It's That's kind of cool. Awesome. Even if the bat symbol is a little wrong. Uh, it I... looks like he grew some bat dicks. The Real words Gotham City are synonymous with crime. Harvey to Dent. a fundraiser for Harvey Dent, played by Billy D. Williams. Okay. But Bruce Wayne is not attending. Ooh. Well, if he's not going to see what one of his future foes looks like, he's like the rest of us. Oh. People of Gotham City. What? I'm a man of few words. Okay. Thank you. God, that was K from Men in Black. We're introduced to Crooked Cop Lieutenant Eckhart, played by William Hookins, and Alexander Knox, played by Robert Wall. Don't be right in this. Why does it remind me of Monk? Paper Knox, it will ruin your already useless reputation. We got to wow. men on this. Lieutenant, is there a six foot bat in Gotham City? And if so, is he on the police payroll? No. Is it true you're okay with the name Porkins? Who names the character Porkins? Why? It looks like Knox isn't respected for his story on the Batman, as they even make drawings about him down at the office. I want pictures of Spider-Man. I got something for you. <laughs> Very firm. Shouldn't there be two signatures on there? He's introduced huh. to Vicky Vale, played by Kim Basinger, fresh off of covering a Frank Miller in joke. And yeah, okay, not every line in this is terrific. I, I, I just loved your story, and I... I like bats. She said that like she runs Is she a bat woman or something? Bat I like bats.com. I bet that's a natural website. Lines that wouldn't fly today. Hello, legs. You want me to pose nude? You're gonna need a long lens. First, I'll take you to dinner, and then we'll walk the trail. Will you marry me? Whoa! Funny, it's bro. usually the guy dressed as Batman who talks to women like this. We what is that outfit? Boss Carl Grissom, played by Jack Palance, wants gangster Jack Napier, played by Jack Nicholson, to do a bust at Access Chemicals, which is really a setup for him sleeping with his lover. This is the only one in the movie who can give Nicholson's overacting a run for his money. He's the only actor I've seen Nicholson who can was in whispers. The Shining, right? With us and someone I can trust. What kind of damage. Your lucky deck. Never play a game of telephone with this guy. She sells seashells. And a random black screen. At Wayne Manor's fundraiser to save the Gotham City Festival. We're introduced to Bruce Wayne out of costume this time. Of course. I love that our introduction is crafts. him not always knowing who he is. Could you tell me which of these guys is Bruce Wayne? Well, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, is she looking for? Does really she know? Done some research. How do you not know who Bruce he Wayne forward, like though, is? He eavesdrops on Vale and Knox quietly making fun of his art collection. Oh, where'd this come from? I have no idea. It's Japanese. How do you know? Uh, because I was in Gung Ho. Oh, King okay. Said once he got Bruce Wayne down, Batman was very easy to figure out. And again, he's probably the best live action Bruce Wayne as well. Because he's so charming. Do you all and agree likeable, with that? But just a That's a big off. table. Oh, I read your work. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, thanks. Can I have a grant? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a grant. I mean, he, he could make it happen. If any of these Bruce Waynes were Batman, I'd Why are so many Bruce Waynes? But he would be a legit surprise. But not to the point where I wouldn't buy it. Maybe that's one of the reasons he was chosen. You so wouldn't believe he's Batman that the public literally refused he was Batman. Really? Why did they complain about Michael Jack Keaton being Batman? Double crossed and the cops show up. Freeze! Do we look like Arnold with an ice joke book to you? Oh God, not the. Again, action sequence where uh, Batman once dude, again shows up. In my opinion, everything about these two characters can be summed up here, where Batman grabs Jack, but his assistant Bob tells him to put him down. Uh, okay. Nice outfit. Yeah. Everything you need to know about these two is in those two glances. With Nolan's films, they have to talk philosophy, psychology, symbols, meanings, a ton to know what they're all about. And again, don't get me wrong, it works fine there. But all you need here is these two looks to understand fully Why what Why did that look like Ken Miles like. from Jack's Ford vs. Ferrari? Jack's not the Joker yet, and I feel like I know what he's all Wait, about that's the Joker? just from that reaction. And Keaton's still the only Batman who can smile without looking like a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wonder Woman. Jack gets knocked into a vat of chemicals and... Let's say he doesn't take it well. Mm. <laughs> you see what I have to work with here. Not but good. The instruments on that table are the same used by the dentist in Little Shop of Horrors, which Jack was in the original I don't know what version. that is. Intentional? I don't know. Fantastic? Never heard yes. of it. I, Mickey and Bruce that's a have good a attention to detail. I like that. Well, but yes, a lot why? of her role in the action scenes is just screaming. <laughs> ah. It's Ashley from Resident Evil 4. Stop it. Get, Get some, some help. help. She does add I know that is. credibility to what's, let's face it, a group of weird ass people. Do you like eating in here? No, no, the truth, I don't think I've ever been in this room before. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, that wasn't a joke. like a real person, as does Alfred, played by Michael Goff. Both of them allow a break is from so much madness and the bring owner a of the Brooklyn Dodgers in 42? I don't remember really caring much when Rachel and Wayne talked in the Nolan films. It always felt like it was just a way to move the story forward. Here, it's to reveal more about who they are, and it always feels like a legitimately warm conversation. It sort of reminds me of my grandfather. Mm -hmm. Were you close to him? Yeah, I used to spend summers with Imagine she said no. They had a, a house on the lake. I just saw a man get chemically scarred into a clown, and I would love <laughs> to know more about her grandfather. Yeah, yeah. Even that's to this fine. day, I can't decide if this is really clever or the stupidest scene in the movie. Does she realize that he's Batman? Okay, that's a little weird. In his I also room? Eat insects. Jack returns as the Joker, killing Grissom, and by God, this might be the most fun I've seen a Joker have since Cesar Romero. <laughs> he didn't hit. He's not hitting those shots. I have a theory that each oh. actor takes something from the previous Joker that results in a positive. One of those look like Pennywise. <laughs> the only Joker I, Apparently I've seen that movie, the last, the newest Joker movie. Sounds, making but it I also saw Suicide Squad. Jack, but unquestionably fun too. <laughs> yes, he's creepy and killing people, but it looks like he's having such a ball laughing at his own jokes. It's kind of contagious. He's like a walking homicidal dad joke. You just laugh because of how hard he's laughing. That's you can't make fair. an omelet without breaking some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Again, in contrast to Nolan's films, there's a big Heath thing Ledger, about Joker rest in peace. making a point and spreading chaos. In this one, his plan just is chaos. Sometimes he's an artist, sometimes he's an entertainer, sometimes he's a gangster, sometimes he's in love with someone, other times he'll just throw her out without thinking twice. I like you never no. know what's coming your way, because I don't think he always knows. I can't make it then either. I've got a very important meeting today. The next day, Bruce sure. tells Vicky he's going to be out of town for a few days, so they can't hang out. I'll talk to you guys when you get back. Back, Miss Vale? We're going to be here for quite a while. Thanks, Alfred! Just tell her I'm Batman while you're at it! Speaking of which, mm. Vale follows Bruce and sees he's the world's most romantic litter bug. Why is he dating a sidewalk? <laughs> At a press conference, do you not? Scott of Godfather's Pizza. Mr. Grissom asked me to take over the operation of his businesses until he returns. Again, I really? love how comic booky this is. A bunch of mimes perform to distract the people from Bob taking pictures. Mimes. Even though mimes are making a comeback. Be drawing more attention to him the way this is set up. Grissom's signature is perfectly legitimate. It is legitimate. The Joker 
takes out the owner of Grissom's business, and it's here Bruce makes an he amazing discovery. would die instantly like that. Uh, okay. Mines don't talk. He's not supposed to be a mime. He's a clown. A, probably the clowniest clown there is. Oh boy, what is what is this talk? Be? Hey, talking. Talk. Ah! Let me tell you about honey. You ever honey? Do I use honey. Of course you do. Why I'm is he six foot I six? It, but you know what I don't love putting in the promo codes. Maybe he's saying closer, like, actually. Numbers and letters you gotta find somewhere else. It's more typing. I don't like it, the typings, but you know what? Honey skips all that. Skips it, I says. Thanks to honey. And then really run to the next one, which is gonna be. The past. Honey is oh, the free shopping tool that scours the internet it? for promo oh, codes uh, and it liquid IV. the best one it finds to your cot. Talk. I got talk. Talk. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites right now. When you check out, the honey I, button appears, I don't know and all what he's you have to do is click be. apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons it can find. What is that accent site. supposed to if be? If honey finds a working coupon, Brooklyn? you'll watch the prices drop. Look, look, look at this thing. Uh, it's not Boston. That. I was gonna get that. I'm like, oh no, that, that, that's a big price, but then I use honey and then look at the price drop. Look at the, the monies. The monies I see. The it's monies. Amazing. It's amazing. I put the S at the end of every word. So I'm so excited. Honey it's doesn't just outside. work on this. Stops. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari I love, on your phone. I love and the save generic the websites. If you don't already have on you Outside could be Incorporated. Out. Co. <laughs> By getting it, you'll not only be helping yourself, but you'll be supporting the show. Here. That's Come true. On, up a guy out here. Oh, I never recommend and if this video use. like Get honey for free if you ever you wonder how much money youtubers make like I said I donate but the first the day, video makes the first day to charity savings. shout out like last week's video was seven dollars the next day it was like not even three and there's Make, no better way wow, to New Year's is here. You're right. Do than by making sure you're feeling like your best self. Well, go like God is the good. I've never tried liquid and IV. I'll be doing that with Alba, my favorite hydration product, liquid IV. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. 16.9. Liquid IV has incredible hydration nice. flavors like watermelon, lemon lime, watermelon. strawberry, pina colada, and pina colada. More. It's such no. a healthy way to what? get your liquid intake. And on top of that, they're delicious. The flavor it's a pina colada, it's my favorite. Come on, pina colada, come on. How can you go wrong? It's amazing. It's so good. Tell your mom. What makes Tell liquid IV so effective? The Argue with your mother, is not me. The transport technology designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. One stick huh. of liquid IV and Basically, I think that's faster and more stuff if you party too hard. Alone. I think no, it I helps, helps with that instead of pina I say it twice because it's important. Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. Liquid what IV has donated over 19 million servings globally. That's so crazy. A delicious product. Why haven't they worked with Mr. Charitable. Beast for something? Yeah, I didn't know I could put those whites together, but I didn't know Liquid IV could be so delicious. This is Grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, in bulk. or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and discount. use the code Nostalgia at checkout. That's 25% off your order I when drink you use the promo water when I wake up in the morning and then it's liquid IV water for the rest of the day. Spring water. Experience better hydration I'll today a Brita at liquid IV for when I go to the gym. And use the promo code Nostalgia. That's it. I ain't talking no more. Why am I even here anyway? Jaywalking. Damn! Jay I'll pay the fine. I don't think you need to be in a lineup for jaywalking. That's a little bit extreme. Gotham's most colorless news set. Reports are coming in that models are dying in a very strange what do you mean, way. models? The fashion world oh, was stunned oh. today by the sudden Why? deaths of models Candy Walker and Amanda Keeler. Authorities suspect condiment man. <laughs> Gotham were discovered today. It looks like the Joker has contaminated a bunch of beauty products, killing the people who use them. Forcing newscasters oh, okay. to stop wearing makeup, which is pretty hilarious. And bad that is some hilarious. more info on Jack Napier. Idiot, if he just turned that page, he'd find the man who killed his parents. Seriously, Wait, that's an amazing really? detail. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be 10 minutes late to the museum, okay? He has to get ready, though, for the date he's not going on. I'm not meeting her today. Yeah, for the world's greatest detective, he sure does take his sweet time putting together what's going on. Costing a lot of lives at the it's fine. Flugelheim Museum. They That's just want weird. other museums to stop making fun of the Guggenheim's name. The what? It's of course the Joker who meets up with Vale after doctoring up the art. Yeah, that's then undoctoring bad. It. And did that's I fine. Prince did all the songs in this? Don't really? Not. Prince will make it clear. He Rest always sounds like Minnie Mouse if her purse got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> this might be 
a Batman and Joker movie, but in real life, we know Prince was both. Joker I, was makes he? the moves okay. on real, saying he wants her to photograph his work. You will take pictures and record my work. You will join me in the avant-garde, the new aesthetic. Okay. Can we just give an honorary Oscar to the guy who has to have his face down to the lasagna <laughs> this whole scene? That's surprisingly convincing. <laughs> he's totally not and eating that to lasagna. And how long days hold on. He's like seen steak. He's been doing that for so long. having a different voice for Batman so people wouldn't recognize him as Wayne. Up until that point, Batman just had the same speaking voice as Bruce Wayne. Think about it. Kevin Conroy altering his voice might not have happened if Keaton didn't come up with this idea. Huh. I personally Which want makes a lot of for not only sense. doing it so well, but for inspiring others who didn't do it so well. Where were the other drugs going? I know oh. I've made enough jokes about that. Oh, don't worry. There's still more coming. Oh, okay. The two of them get into my personal favorite Batmobile. Fun fact, when they showed that this model cool. to Burton, he said, That looks great. Where's the door? Shit, the top opens up. Yeah, that's oh, it. okay. A last man edition, but it worked out pretty Which, good. what happens if it flips over? Do you have the safety hammer like the Tony said? My cabbages. About 108, I think. Speaking of models having this on Blu ray, did not do these models any favors. Didn't I see Dark Helmet playing with those? Hey! Stunt nice. double is also, shall we say, a little John McCaney. But he gets no, with the cheeks, fights, yeah. So I can't complain. You weigh a little more than 108. And that was the last we ever saw of Batman. He knows what he, he did. He takes it to the back end. Yeah, no. And to some of the greatest music you will ever hear. I'm sorry, did he just drive into a wall? How good is it? it made the Batman and Robin trailer look epic. When Venom. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hi. That's no small feat. And he says he cracked the Joker's code, but that's not the only reason he brought her there. There is something else you have that I want. What is that? What? Bats? You have bats? Why don't you tell me you have bats? This is the point where every parent that brought their kid went, No! No, he just took the film she shot of him from her bra. That's still kind of bad. If I bring something to you, can we make the evening edition? She gets the info to the press, and Bruce thinks about telling her the truth. It's not easy she confessing still a lie, when you've already lied about so much. Oh, that's so fine. I came over to clear a few things. I don't know who you think you are. I'm Batman. Oh, I <laughs> oh, <didn't> <laughs> <want to laughs> yeah. It's a testament to Keaton's charm that he can tell her to shut up. You're a real nice girl, and I like you a lot. But for right now, shut up. And literally seconds later, she's comforting him. Hey, it's okay. You can tell me. Shut up. I the guess Joker being Johnson, a billionaire think, has its perks? Before, their three confrontations are once as Batman and Napier, second as Bruce and Joker, and finally as Batman and Joker. And you gotta love a scene where the idea is who can out-crazy the other. Mean kid. Bad seed. I like him already. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a challenge for whose eyebrows can hit the ceiling first. <laughs> now you wanna get nuts? Come on! Let's get nuts. He just went full Beetlejuice. Never go full Beetlejuice. Never seen Beetlejuice. The Joker shoots him, but Vale discovers later that he's gone, leaving a bulletproof plate behind. Why is the plate bulletproof? Before opening that. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Okay. Later, yeah, no, I wouldn't open anything the Joker parents, left. Or at least father was murdered. Boy, the mother really does get the shaft in these movies. I wouldn't be surprised if the article read, oh, and some broad he married. Yeah. Don't worry, Snyder would overcorrect this in the future. By doing what? What did he do? Public safety. Joker here. The next day, Joker <laughs> makes another threat, which at this point, Gotham is so used to crime they don't even listen to it. Until oh, he says yeah. he's going to drop millions in cash on the crowd. I will dump 20 million in cash on the crowd. I'm sorry, what? Again, I feel like this has more like, yo, y'all can afford healthcare. Than the hours of discussion from Dark Knight Rises. A corrupt world will forgive anything. Actually, what about the healthcare system in Gotham's like? But Bruce figures out two things. One, Jack Napier killed his parents when he was a boy. And two, Foot Life Frenzy is the longest running show in Gotham. Let's go, Jack! I'll admit I go back and forth between what I think with the Joker killing his folks. I like that it's usually a low level criminal who, in some versions, is never found. But not the Joker, but it yeah. It does tie things together pretty nicely when it's in a self contained movie. Seeing how they both, in an ironic way, created each other. I made you. You made me first. But just as oh. Bruce discovers who the Joker really is, Vale discovers who Bruce really is. Tell me if I'm crazy. But that wasn't just another night for either of us, was it? No. no. For whatever 
the reason what? people really lost their minds when Alfred let Vale into the Batcave? Why? But what? She didn't put it together by now? He was literally about to tell her, and honestly, I thought him being bulletproof and disappearing out the window was his way of telling her. But no kind of. fans made such a shit show about something nobody cares about years later that they even referenced it in the sequel. Who let Vicky Vale into the Batcave? Oh. I'm sitting there working, and I turn around, there she is. Oh, hi, Vic. Come on in. Yeah, it's fixing problems oh, fans have in a last sequel. Video always art. turns out great. I haven't seen Star Wars. They have, again, what feels like a really honest conversation. None of these lines are clever Also, why the turtleneck always? They just talk like real people. But I don't know what to think of all this. I really do. <sighs> Look, sometimes I don't know what to think about this. They say casting me will destroy Batman, but this is okay. They try to make amends, and Batman heads to Axis Chemicals to blow them sky high. That's oh, fine. Modus, love it. Yeah, 80s Batman believes in killing, guns, and Looney Tunes-style explosions. Why would they stand so close? I smell a bat in the next lineup. <laughs> but the Joker, and his Kenner accessories not included, oh, get out yeah, in time made and start toys. poisoning the city with toxic gas on the crowd. In a deleted oh, scene, he knocks out good. the cops so they don't stop him, and the money is fake. Why does somebody Actually shoot putting the his face on the one dollar bill? The cop thing would have been a nice explanation, but I like more that this was probably the mob's money. Like he was wasting it all on this one joke. It's kind of ledger esque. Yeah, I guess. Just a side note: this is one of my favorite shots of the movie. That right there. I want to see the HBO logo in the sky at the end of that. Yeah, that would look Batman good. Batman uses the bat plane to take the balloons down. Or nice. Rather up. This doesn't please the Joker at all. Bob, it's done. Nobody notices that it's fake. Oh, okay. A moment of silence for the best hench person until Harley Quinn. Ah, ah, number one, ah, guy. Bobby's dead. Show some respect. So, why did he shoot that guy exactly? Oh, nice. Joker takes out Batman with, what else? A joke. And sends him crashing to the ground and taking Vicky hostage. I've got to get you to the church on time. If I had to pick which version of Batman Does she become Harley Quinn? Lady reference, it would not be this one. Batman is alive, though. I of love course he the is. smoke he spits out. And he quietly sneaks up to our village. Dude, that gun is way too long. Admittedly, that is the dumbest thing he does in the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> does he actually look at him like that? Joker sends one of the bells crashing down, blocking the cops from going further. Uh, okay. Very Resident Evil 4 feeling at this if point. I can't move it, none of you can. So they call him Batman? Lights, though, and shine it on Batman, fighting off the last of the henchmen. However the hell they got up there. Ah. I am. Going over here, apparently. What? Did, what? What was that I'm move? He didn't try to fight. Oh, sorry. You can be Batman. You want to be Batman? You're not Batman. He defeats him though, and finally makes his way to the Joker. And they bad things are gonna happen. Him, and I love this look she gives, as if like, what does he do in this suit? Oh God, don't think about it. Yeah, no, it can't smell good. Nice. Man admits Joker killed his parents, and this really is a moment that maybe needed to quote another Batman property. What? Killed my parents. Do you have the slightest idea how little that narrows it down? <laughs> that <laughs> that would have been so funny. Episode. Batman shoves him off a cliff, only to have the Joker shove him off a cliff. But Batman still has one trick up his sleeve. Money? Oh. <laughs> I'll admit, I bust a gut every time I hear the Joker go from laughing hysterically to Dead. just saying, shit. I don't know how many Jokers have just straight out said shit, but there needs yeah. to be more. That's fair, yeah. This is a great drawn out death. You love Does seeing he actually him laugh die? while he struggles, but it's also very sad. I guess he can't hold Batman the weight. seeing the killer of his parents get his very slow comeuppance. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's gonna be up. Yeah, until it turns into a rope action movie. What? And in Veil Fall 2, but he uses his grappling hook to save. It's fine. It totally doesn't rip his shoulders out. We'll be okay. Or anything. As Maybe it's not attached to the shoulder. No, the day is saved, and the cops now have a great connection with the Cape Crusader. We've received the this is how they did it? Okay. It just says, I'm Batman. 
Okay, that's Turn fine. Bat signal. Vicky goes to oh, visit this Bruce. The bat one of the signal? worst okay. transitions I've ever seen in anything takes place. But who cares? The music's amazing, and this is one hell of a final shot. Okay. God, there's been so many bad And that was Batman. All these years later, still my favorite. That's fair. It seems this decent. This is what got Batman, as we know him today, the dark brooding Cape Crusader, into the mainstream. I kind of the like Batman. Batman the animated well, series and Batman with guns, because the Alkins makes it the show, doesn't seem like, you know, it. Almost everything connected another action to Batman movie, you know? in media has this dark, gritty tone. In fact, the challenge now seems to be how far can they go to make it even darker? This also brought comic book movies into the mainstream, as they exploded shortly after. Most comic book movies took the formula of not telling an origin story, but rather just starting out with the hero already fighting crime. So many superhero movies afterwards owe their popularity because this film was such a massive hit. Oh, it was? Okay, it. but people more hated more Michael Keaton tell kind of as play. Batman. I love how the Joker okay. is always loud in the open, where Batman is always quiet in the shadows. I love how so much of this movie's strength is in its performances and its visuals. That's not at all to say the script is bad. I actually argue it lets the characters just be characters and not lectures about the characters. I clearly love Nolan's Dark Knight, but for me, there's only one original, Batman. Yeah, well, I mean, there's, I, it's called The Batman, or just Batman. Because this is my personal favorite Batman movie doesn't mean it's objectively the best. I don't know what would be the best Batman movie then. Oh, okay. I like bats. I like bats. Is there a trader shout out or is it cameo? Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity. Another charity shout out. out. So today's video makes uh, the first day we got a charity. That's like what? So we're here four in a row. Uh, you know that uh, the next couple of these are going to be connecting to uh, helping out the Ukraine. And uh, we heard this one's is it really, gonna be... really good. So we're just going to go ahead and keep doing that. I might have one. already called, donated uh, I hope I'm saying it right. Razum. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've donated them before. <laughs> I could be pronouncing I get wrong. emails from them. Sure, I get but, emails uh, from all of them. A lot of great all the time. If you want to know more about year, them, uh, Razzle's emergency you get a tax response benefit. is the SOS button that I don't is think pressed I in time do to enough need. They create this get a benefit. Uh, they created this project to provide urgent help and support in face of an extreme and unforeseen situation like in the Ukraine. Uh, today the sovereign nation of Ukraine has to deal with the most horrendous and catastrophic emergency, a brutal invasion. Yeah, Razzle's well responding aware. And it's somehow still going on, which is crazy and amplifying the voices of Ukrainians. So, I mean, again, you watch the news, you know what's going on there, just the and most watch this video send, in the first day, uh, the better. Help. So please consider Hopefully. donating to this. As long as the charity is doing that, sharing I would the imagine link, they are. To get other people involved, because you know how much suffering is going on over there. So please definitely uh, consider taking a look at it. Uh, thank you so much, and take care. All right. That is fine. But yeah, no, this was... Okay, no, there's just nothing at the end. All right, this is Batman 1989. Like I said, I saw this Green Lantern right there here, and that's actually a movie I have seen, as crazy as that is. Um, I don't know if I do that. People are also talking to... There's the Batman. I, I, what is that supposed to be? Batman Begins? I these, I don't think I've seen... Well, I definitely haven't seen the Savage Group videos. There's the Bat Credit Card, the Dark Knight. Haven't seen... I think people probably would rather me react to the Dark Knight instead of reacting to Nostalgia Critic doing the Dark Knight. But also, people would probably rather me react to all these movies instead of watching Nostalgia Critic do it anyway because people actually, for some reason, get mad if I react to Nostalgia Critic that introduces me to a movie I've never heard of and, like, why didn't I just react to the movie I've never heard of? when I don't have a movie reaction channel because that'd be incredibly difficult. But shout out to the patrons. I wouldn't be able to donate money to the charity shout out if it was not for them. I read every single one of your comments whether you're a patron or not, whether you're subscribed or not, but I hope you are subscribed because I want to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I hope you have a wonderful 2024. I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were playing.